Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Our birthday is coming up this weekend, but you might connect a little better with Bob Wills through the music genre he helped make popular. Yeah, that's right. Galen Culver has the story of a new film about the man and his music and the key role Oklahoma played in both. If you're someone who pays attention to unique sounds, especially rhythmic ones, you can find inspiration often floating on the wind. So somewhere between jazz and country argue fans like Robert Houston and Mike Marquardt is a musical genre that's never too proud to gather influences from whatever sounded good. Western swing encompasses everything. It encompasses jazz, blues, Dixieland, uh, polkas, waltzes, uh, Hispanic songs, mariachi songs. It's got it all, and big band swing. They and a host of other musicians and historians make the case for Western Swing in a full-length documentary that screened at the Oklahoma History Center recently. Both producer and filmmaker are longtime fans who bristle at the notion of Western Swing as a subcategory of anything. We want people to understand that Western Swing is in no way country music. Now, it has influenced country music, just all kinds of sounds, uh, but they put everything behind it with a good dance beat. They also argue that Bob Wills' move to Tulsa and Kane's ballroom in the 30s is the chief reason Western Swing escaped from its Texas roots and spread across the country. KVO's booming 25,000 watt signal carried Western Swing, Bob Wills' music, from east, all the way from Western Arkansas all the way to Hawaii. Bob Wills passed away in the early 70s, but he saw his music influence today's country, rockabilly, rock and roll. It's its own thing. It can stand alone. Western swing in the 30s kept a weary country tapping its worn out shoes from its famous fans to its proud champions and to people who still like to two step or shuffle. It's still on the wind, not too proud to show up just about anywhere. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver News 4. Is this a great state or what? That's right, and the film's called The Birth and History of Western Swing. It's screened to a small audience at the Oklahoma History Center recently. Producers are hoping to bring it to wider release later this year.